Hello YouTube, my name is Neil slash LegoCrop75, and today we'll be covering the Strident Class Frigate. Hold on, let me just fix that. There we go. Gotta make it look presentable, after all. Anyways, this is the Strident Class Frigate. I always thought these were pretty cool frigates. They were introduced in Halo 4 and briefly shown in Halo 5. Although, I, ah, I'm gonna be honest. I was not a huge fan of Halo 5. In fact, it is still one of the one of the only Halo games that I've only ever played once through. Like, I never even bother playing through it a second time. Because it's just like, for whatever reason, I just didn't feel drawn to it. And that's more or less because Halo 5 was just not great. It really wasn't. They just, they really screwed the pooch on that one. You know? And, you know, it's just, uh but yeah, but the ship that they had, were introduced in Halo 4 slash 5, was pretty cool. It's more like a long-range sniper, and of course, it didn't really have that many guns on it in the actual video game, so I decided to add more so it looks like a proper fighting vehicle. Because, like, after all, look how long this thing is compared to the New York set. I mean, look at this thing. It's a long boy. It's like the same, around the same length as other frigates that they had in the past, or in the other games. So, like, it should be properly armed with proper guns, in addition to the Mac gun, which apparently is as strong as a cruiser Mac gun. Don't ask me how. Just future science, you know? All about that future science. Anyway, but yeah. See here, the front bit, side bits. I had some nice detail here to show, you know, how, uh, I don't know, ship like it is. I really don't know. It just looks nice, so I just decided to do it that way. Side paneling there to make it look more like a frigate, because, you know, it's supposed to be a futuristic frigate and all that jazz, you know. And over here we got the engines right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I got that tower up there, which I was really proud of. I even got the little uh, rounded bit at the back end of it, which is pretty cool. Nice and smooth as well. Uh, not too many studying areas, but in the digital program, I decided to cover a lot of that up to make it look, you know, nicer. Because the less studying there is, the cooler it looks, in my opinion. You know? Let me show the other side real quick. Uh, pretty simple. I got two additional guns, and I got those vented pieces there. Pretty cool. I'll put that back there. And I'll move it closer to the New York set, just to show you how big of a ship this is. And a constant reminder that the Statue of Liberty is effectively a hood ornament for these ships. Even the frigates, too. Although, honestly, it'd be a little bit too big. Maybe a uh, Lincoln, Lincoln Monument or Lincoln Statue would be a better hood ornament for these things. You know? But, uh, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I shall show you the digital program I have built. Or the digital design, I should say. And once again, we shall look at the floor. Because I have yet to do any editing for these videos. Okay. And I'll probably wait to do that in the future. <laughs> anyway, here is the digital one. Looks a bit nicer. I got these pieces all smoothed out and whatnot. Uh, really, this one didn't change too much in terms of design. I may have changed these up a bit so I can allow for more smoother parts to it. But other than that, it's effectively stayed the same. Same as the underside. As all well the front bits, too. But yeah, pretty cool. And um, this one actually is the, uh, of all the ships I have built, including the little other frigates, this has the least number of parts at a whopping 145, if you can see it there. There you go. So yeah, not that many parts. But then again, for a ship this size, you wouldn't expect there to be many parts. But you know, it's Lego. They have loads of itty bitty pieces. So you can, if you really want a build to have a lot of pieces, just use a ton of tiny pieces and you'll just inflate that part count to just extreme heights. Because why not, you know? But, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's the Strident Class Frigate. And um, I actually did design these so that they could fit in the uh, Infinity that I have built. Or really, I built these first. So I just had an idea of what I was going to be working with when it came to the hangar bays. And as I was building, I, you know, modified them and fitted them so that they could actually fit up in there. Now, the digital version of the Infinity, I'm not sure yet is as to whether or not that's going to allow these to fit in there but we'll see you know i'll probably build it myself first in real life because i like that version better so i can make sure these actually fit and that it's actually as strong as the real one 
Because strength tests are important, especially when you have a ship with many, many pieces to it. Like an inordinate amount of pieces. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's the Strident Class Frigate. And thank you for watching. Take care.